All right, great win last night against the Miami Heat, 101-92. to uh, That was a big win, a much-needed win for us, uh, especially in this playoff race. So that puts us in a comfortable spot uh, for the fifth place. Uh, Brooklyn's been pushing, but they've lost a couple. Um, they're, they're fighting and scrapping their way, but uh, we're going to have to win these last couple of games. we got five games left. The next game is against Cleveland Cavaliers this Friday, tomorrow. So that's going to be another huge battle. It's going to be tough for us because we got our all-star who's injured. First time you've seen Randall even miss any games this year. Um, even if he comes back or it's a light sprain, I think we need to rest him for the remainder of the year. Yes, I'm calling it for the next five games. We have to have him fresh and ready to roll for the playoffs. Uh, you saw Jalen Brunson miss the second half of the game as well. And it, our others won the game against one of our top rivals. And they were fully staffed, minus Cal Lowry. So uh, that was a huge win, uh, letting you know that everybody can play, everybody can compete. So for the next five games, uh, we should be looking for the others to step up, get more rotations as we did last year. That's when we saw the big games by Obi, the 40-plus game for Obi. Uh, he started breaking out. That's when IQ started breaking out too. So this would be a good time to get them prime, ready, confident, and show their abilities on what they can do. Um, so Rest Randall the remainder of the year. That's my opinion. Race, uh, rest Jalen Brunson the remainder of the year. Get Deuce involved. Um, Grimes has been more consistent, which is good. So he's been consistent the last uh, couple of games here. So at least the last three games. He's been at least in double digits, so that's huge. He's getting his confidence, uh, getting his shot to fall down, uh, being very active. Hartenstein's been playing phenomenal. Uh, almost double-digit rebounds every game. His block and defensive game has stepped up a uh, great defensive game last night. We held them to 92 when we hold opponents down under a hundred, we're 10 and 0. So our defense is a huge factor. It shows the others can play defense, play defense with our feet, not with our hands. Uh, so that was a good game last night. Everybody stepped up. We're going to need more of that. Uh, we're going to be playing our other rivals, our new rivals because of Donovan Mitchell, who we should be seeing in the playoffs. Uh, if we stay in the fifth, place there which i think that will happen within the next five games uh, if we stay in fifth place we will be playing cleveland so tomorrow's game has a lot of importance what we're gonna see are they gonna rest players uh is it just gonna be our bench versus their bench because they've already clinched the playoff so i don't think we're gonna see their all-stars or their starters it's possible but they've already clinched their position so i don't think it's going to be starters, which is good for us. We can rest our starters, let our benches go at it, and see what happens. Uh, that's what I think is going to happen. I, you know, Maybe the beginning, first half, some of the starters, and then they get rest on the second half. Kind of like a preseason game. Since they clinched, they don't want to injure themselves. We have Randall injured. We have Jalen Brunson who came back, still has the wrap on his hand. So that's going to be something that we're going to watch forward starting tomorrow. But I believe we're going to be seeing a lot of the starters resting tomorrow if playing at all so if they're playing then uh, you'll see them sporadically even from the cleveland side um we, we, there's a bench game this is going to be where the bench from both sides are going to be playing each other i don't think they want to show each other their hand or plays you know so since we're more than likely going to be playing each other um i don't think tips is going to be showing any special calls or stuff like that so if he's smart uh, and I, I believe he is um hopefully he can limit the minutes of any starters that he does play Keep Grimes' confidence out there. Maybe throw Evan, Rose, Sims, give them some playing time. Just rest all the starters and get others involved that we may need in the playoffs. I don't see a Evan playing out there. I could see a Sims, maybe rest Mitch. Uh, Mitch has been not himself lately, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe rest just the starters all together other than RJ. Get RJ going and see what happens. But I believe that's what we're going to be looking going forward. For the next few games, I highly suggest we rest Randall. That ankle sprain looked pretty bad. A high ankle sprain, even though he had low tops, which we don't like when you're playing basketball. But um, I think we rest them the last five games. I mean, we want them fresh. We don't want any re-injuries. Playoffs take a big toll on your body. So that's, that's the key today. Rest, rest, rest the starters. Something that Tibbs might be struggling. He's going to look like he's going to be fiending like a crack pipe. But you got to play your game. This is where Thibodeau, can you get the others to respond? He did last night, and then our, our 
Our bench players did uh, step up last night. Almost 50 points from our bench. IQ's been on fire. Grimes is finding his range. We need to get RJ confident. His three-pointer, one three-pointer fell in. So we need to get RJ and OB confident. Uh, we got Grimes and IQ balling. Uh, give some deuce time. So it's going to be something interesting to watch. Tell me what you think out there. How do you think we're going to fare against Cleveland? Uh, what do you think is going to happen? So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. But I think the next few games we should be seeing players rest or play limited minutes and get the others involved. That's all I got for you guys today. I'll chime in again to, tomorrow. We should be doing uh, a show tomorrow. So the whole squad together, uh, Fridays and Sundays. Check us out. Check our old videos out, which are always relevant. We talk quite a bit, uh, usually a whole week recap, talking about the whole game. So a lot of fun stuff. We uh, have a good time. We'd love to see you guys. Give us your comments. We love talking with our peoples, the next nation. So hit us up, the Organic Fanatics on YouTube. Check us out. Peace. And on the gram. We reply to the gram, too. Check us out.